today on Kid Nation TV. This is, why don't we just edit me out of this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could do that show. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's JC, and as you can tell, I'm not nervous that I'm on TV. TV is easy. I'm nervous because I'm attempting the world record for walking on Lego while barefoot. So I'm the master model builder at Legoland Discovery Center. Um, we're an awesome indoor Lego playground, and today we've constructed this giant danger maze for JC to navigate through. Uh, it's 170 feet long, because you got to go from start to finish. That is so far. Have you ever stepped on one Lego? Oh, all the time, how, every day. How, how bad on a scale of one to 10 does that hurt? With your barefoot? 10 and a half. Uh, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> and you bought two million of them. All right, y'all have fun. I'm really hoping he can do it. Um, he's got it in him to do it. Now, if you're wondering what I did to prepare for this, Simply, uh, I had kids, and my son doesn't clean his room, so I just randomly step on Legos in his room. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going. And I started my world record. Oh! My God! <laughs> what is this painful thing I'm feeling in my feet? Jeez! stuck in my foot. I mean, can you even begin to describe the pain? Um, I think my adrenaline is still kicking right now, yeah. so it, yeah, it okay. hurts now, so I can only imagine what it's gonna feel like in a few. But you don't care, right? No, I broke you the record. You broke a record! I did it! it. JC, you just broke a world record. What do you do now? I'm going to Legoland! So JC, how long did you hold that record? All right, let me do the math here. Uh, like 12 hours? Eesh. 12 hours after yeah. walking on Legos. Brickalicious. Brickalicious? Whoever you are, yeah, they broke the record. I think it was being broken as I was breaking it, but they had to edit their video. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And not only did he break it, this guy, he he destroyed it. Like 1,200 feet. Yeah, didn't he just keep walking back and forth and let's just do it again? Yeah, if I knew that, Kelly, I would have just, I would have done that. Uh, yeah, I could have handled that. You All day. Even, you weren't you? even done in the Guinness book. People had to leave so they could go cover the other guy. Yeah. The Thanks, Al. <laughs> so do you want to try something else? Because I, I know this has been like your ultimate life dream. Yeah, I do want to own a world record that doesn't get broken right away. So I've been thinking about the medicine ball surfing challenge. What is that? It's, it's pretty dope. What do you do? You bounce on your stomach. You just have a tummy roll down medicine balls. Yeah, you got to set up a long line of medicine balls. And then you just got to glide on top of them all the way. How many is the record right now? I gotta look it up, but it looks fun. Why would you do the kissing dogs thing? People that's... could bring their dogs in and you could walk outside, time it, and you yeah. just make out with a bunch of dogs. Totally cool, right? Except for dogs lick butts. I'd do it. Not lick butts. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Al? What is the record for the longest nap? Death. Death. Yeah. Oh, okay, don't want to break that one, <laughs> right? but the one like right before that. Okay. Because I could really get down with a nice long nap. So you want to go into a coma. That would be pretty dope to go to sleep and wake up like four years later. Oh no, my gosh. No, 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 no. I don't want to waste that Those much time. Well, that's crazy. probably the record, Al. That's too long. Al, you probably lose a lot of weight, though. Oh. You just said to me in the back that you're, today is the day that you're going on a diet. I did. I did just say that. Yeah. So the world's quickest diet. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. All you right, got it. Go. Come on. Drum How roll, please. About Drum roll, uh -huh. please. Yep, yep, The yep. most. Uh huh. That's right. Um, yeah. This is the record. Consecutive. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, yep, yep. Come on. Backstreet Boys concerts. How about that? That sounds really exciting. I think the Backstreet Boys will probably hold that record, though. Yeah, it's going to be tough this to break. Is, why don't we just edit me out of this segment? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go behind the scenes. 
What up, y'all? It's Big Al, and today we are going to learn how radio works. We're going to do like a little radio version of Crib. So I'm going to take you around the entire studio, show you who everybody is and what they do, and just kind of show you how everything works here at the Kid Craddock Morning Show Studio. For example, this little thing right here, it's a curling iron. It's a very integral part of a radio show. So this is what we do. We, we sit here and write commercials on commercial breaks that then will air next week. I love my job. Oh, what are you doing? Looking at a Mercedes. You don't have money for a Mercedes. I'm not gonna buy it. No keys. But put this guy in a lab coat and yeah. Not Robert, no. This is the brains of the operation. Right now, Robert and I, we are figuring out what we're gonna do on tomorrow's radio show, and we have no clue. Mm -mm. And I have to have a piece of gum because I just ate a hamburger from last night. All right, here we are in the studio. Here is Jenna. She's been with the show for about five or six years, right? 11. And here's our man, JC. He's the captain now. He's been here, oh God, a good eight, nine years, I think. 12. 12 years. <laughs> here is Kelly Raspberry. This is my I'm girl. I'm the OG. She's the OG. She was actually here before I got yeah, here. She's and that been... would be how many years? Oh, God, you're old, Kelly. Uh, no, I'm not old. 20, oh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 4? 24. 24. I got one kind of right. Which makes me old, apparently. <laughs> Why did I sign up to do this TV show again? <laughs> now, let's go behind the scenes. I thought we already were. This is behind the scenes. Well, behind the other scenes. This is the uh, this is what they call the control room, and these guys are in control. So this is Donnie, this is uh, Trey over here, this is White Cheddar, Sonny Joe, Robert. He does this a lot. He wants to wrap us up. So um, these are screens here. This is a little keyboard, another mouse, a mouse pad, and um, got red knobs on the red sliders on. Oh, oh hey. I think we're actually on the air right now, so I don't want to play around with anything. This room's kind of stupid. Oh, let's go to another room. That's the most important room. Here is Nick, our producer. Wow. He also helps Alicia out in the phone screen room, and he does a lot of uh, the showbiz and gets a lot of stuff ready for us to uh, present on the air. Uh, how did I say that? That was very professional. It was. It was good. It was just like I typed it. <laughs> That's right. He actually typed what I'm saying right now. Now, you're probably noticing that there's glass right here. There's a reason for that. Um, we had some extra glass. What, yeah, what are we doing the show tomorrow? Yeah, what are we doing tomorrow? Um, hmm. hmm, hold on. Does anyone have a coin? Let's, Let's get our it. ideas. Um, we have hmm. a whole bunch of ideas. Lots of ideas. Um, all these papers, all ideas. But what, yeah. what do we do? Stick around after the break. We are out in this hot heat at Clyde Warren Park about to ask people some pop culture questions. Welcome back. In case you missed it before the break. What up, y'all? It's Big Al, and today we are going to learn how radio works. We're going to do like a little radio version of Cribs. All right, this is the production room, and it's filled with uh, production people. So this, uh, first of all, is my friend Amy. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. hi. Amy does the, uh, Amy does the uh, website, and she yeah. posts our blogs. Yeah. Amy also brings almonds. That is why we keep her around. Okay, over here we have Anna. Hi. Anna does Kid TV, our website. She puts videos and stuff up, up on the website, and, uh, and she has really curly hair. We have Lacey, and uh, Lacey always wears high heel shoes. Yes. Her and Amy, it's something very weird. Her and Amy go pee at the same time every day, and on their way, on their way to the bathroom, they walk like this, they lunge. <laughs> this is our man part-time Justin right here. Well, he's actually full-time now, but he started out being part-time. Why are you wearing your pajamas? Well, because I am going to the aquarium today, and I'm going to go feed sharks and give people a tour about fish. Okay. Okay, so we've met the on-air staff in some of the behind-the-scenes staff. Now we're going to go behind behind the scenes, like the folks that re like the money people, you know, they sell stuff. I don't really know what they do, but come on. Now, this lady, whew, she's the comptroller. Her name is Claudia. Door's closed, because she's probably in there doing some comp controlling right now. Hey, Claudia. Sales guy, head sales guy right there, Sean. Uh, somebody else that works over here and does something. Somebody's over here that does something. 
George. Wow, look at George's office. My God. Oh, he's even got papers on the floor. That's a working man right there. That's work in progress. Why do they call you Psycho Shannon? Psycho because Shannon. when I was 17, I probably was pretty crazy. But she, now that I'm 21, allegedly, I've grown up. Allegedly, she sliced some tires in our parking lot. There's no video. There's no video, yes. But no allegedly, crazy. she sliced tires of another employee in the parking lot. So we then started calling her Psycho Shannon. So I think that's about it. We've pretty much covered everything here at the Kid Craddock Morning Show. And um, this is the bathroom. This is where we really take care of our business. You're probably wondering, why is Blake Shelton in our bathroom? I simply say to you, why not? Thank you for watching Kid Nation TV. Hello, it's part-time Justin. Hey, it's Alicia. And we are out in this hot heat at Clyde Warren Park about to ask people some pop culture questions. Hot, because usually people who know pop culture are girls and people like Justin. And so we're what, out here. What, what do you mean by people like me? You know what I mean. I hope you mean just guys. Mm, okay. That's what I mean. But we are asking guys because they probably don't know these answers. But, but we're going to see. Yeah, we are. Let's go. Let's go. You look like Dora the Explorer. Uh, Camila Cabello, are you familiar with her? No. <laughs> no? This is going great then. Um, what girl group did she just leave a few years ago? What was her name? Uh, There's five of them and they sing in harmony. Spice Girls. Oh! <laughs> great guess. They got that song where it's like, you don't got to go to work, 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 work. Just let your body oh, go like to work, song. work, work. Well, who work. is it? Guys were slacking on these questions, and I think a lot of it had to do with the heat. It was so hot outside. There was like little water spigots shooting from the ground. And you drank it. I drank a little bit of it. It was that hot outside. It, it tasted was like foot. It was so <laughs> gross. Who did Prince Harry marry? Uh, Meghan Markle. Hey! hey guys. Hey, guys. I think girls know way more about pop culture than guys She do. thinks because you're a man, you don't watch E! News, which I said well, is so is wrong. probably true. <laughs> Thank you, I love hearing that I'm right. Hi. One word to describe Justin, puppy. Oh, she's so sweet, hello. Hi. Serenity, serenity. Cool. Okay, all right, serenity. Cardi B's baby daddy, who is he? I don't know. <laughs> Who is Cardi B's baby daddy? Uh... More Kid Nation TV after the break. Welcome back. In case you missed it before the break. We are out in this hot heat at Clyde Warren Park about to ask people some pop culture questions. Who is Cardi B's baby daddy? Uh... Can I have a hint? Anything? Um, ooh, he's part of Migos. That's not helping. No? Okay. So who is Cardi B's baby's daddy's name? Drake? Offset. <laughs> Offset. Uh-huh. Offset is the name, that's the Offset, answer? Offset, Offset. O-F-F-S-E-T. -F that's Offset. a person, Offset. That is a, yes. Wow. On a cooler day, oh, with, yeah. with, with more men out there than who, you want to see more men out there? Yeah, I want to see more men mm. out there. Um, we would have had better answers. Kylie Jenner had a baby. Do you know what she named her daughter? Is that good? Uh, yeah, it's been so hot. It's so hot. I'm so glad we're done asking people pop culture questions in the park. And? And after a long day, a and? long day. And? You were right. Yeah! All right, uh, we uh, really gotta go though because I think your truck is being towed right now. No! No! In studio with us this hey. morning hey. is Uzo Aduba. <laughs> nervous. Day one of filming Orange is the New Black or going on Running Wild with Bear Grylls. Ah! Man, Uzo, that was crazy. <laughs> Eyes. Yes. <laughs> we, were just, we were just talking about this to go. I, I don't think I could do that show. Ed, why would what? you do that? 
I don't know. Like, 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 yeah. Trying to find yourself. I, I yeah, and I lost myself there. I was like, I was, I was, I don't know why I did it. I was like, yeah, sure. And I saw the videos. Oh, so you weren't a passionate fan ahead of. I, I knew thought. the show, but I wasn't like dive in watch right. it yeah, when I yeah. saw it I was like oh my gosh it's so yeah. cool like Kate Winslet's doing like on a bike plane that oh, sounds really cool you those clips yes and I was like that <laughs> yeah. sounds really cool then when I came out like you land the day before yeah you know yeah and I didn't know where we were what was the smell like <laughs> I didn't know where we were was, it, was there a they don't smell? tell you where you're going was there a smell no it was well fresh air it was like okay, fresh good. fresh air and you're climbing up this mountain and it's you genuinely have no sense of where you are. I just knew I was in Spain. That was oh, it. No okay. way. Yes, because they they drop your flight comes in in Barcelona. Uh -huh. That's all I knew. And then somebody comes and picks you up, and you're driving for like hours. And I I don't live in Spain, so it's like you're just driving. You have no yeah. idea where you are. You go up this hill. We stayed the night, the one day there. You get in another car. They drive you again for oh, hours year. away, yeah. and you're like. Wow. Where are we? So then you do start to get nervous, and then like they just drop you in the middle of a field, gave me a crossbow, and I was like, I was like, <laughs> you're like <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know you said that. Like, Y'all know. What is this, the hundred <laughs> Yeah, literally. Yeah. They're like, what do you think you're going to do with this crossbow? And I was like, on a moose? I, I don't know what, like, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't even know what one does with a crossbow. Like, I was I had no idea. And all I just remember is a helicopter coming in. And I was like, we're going to go somewhere from there. Yeah. And he's like, and now we're going to get in this helicopter and it's going to be amazing. And I was like, uh, I've never been in a helicopter before. And it, it's like, and you're going to hang out of it. And I was like, wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I was like, what do you mean I'm going to hang out of it? I was like, yeah. you're the nature. Guy. Like, this is not what I signed up for. And he's like, no, it is actually. We have the like release. I was like, no. So I was just like. How did you like, actually spin in the wild? Yeah, we were there for a day day and a half okay a day and a half and it's like oh man snakes i don't do snakes i saw the snake yeah, very a, venomous he's telling her uh, terrifying. You're, you're gonna be paralyzed your brain's yes. not gonna function anymore and you already are terrified of them terror right? when i say terrified i mean terrified and we were running i didn't know what he was running towards i right. thought we were just running running and i was like oh this is good he's like look and i like, I almost collapsed, like, passed out. Because yeah. I was, like, so scared. Well, Uso, guess what? Bring in the No! I was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> uh... This interview was going so well. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm not in it. Right. The question I always have is the camera crew following you guys around because y'all are bad A's doing that, but yeah. the guys are having to look yeah, camera equipment right. and sound equipment following you. Oh my gosh. They are unbelievable. Those I mean, and they are like, when I tell you, like, those, some of those trails we're walking on, like, legit, this is the edge, and then it's like down like 100 Death. feet. And you're watching them, they're like tethered to each other. It's crazy to watch. I'm like, are you okay? Because I'm like, while I don't have a camera. While y'all are eating bugs, are the camera guys eating like granola trail mix and stuff? <laughs> they're rage. enjoying their they're life. Yeah. yeah. I was like, can I have? And they're like, nice no. Hey, uh, <laughs> can you not eat that in front of me for yes. right. room service? Yeah. Uh, what are you more nervous about doing that or performing on stage with Taylor Swift? Because we saw you do that last year. It was she's just awesome. It's amazing and so like generous. Like just you know we'd met at a concert she did in Jersey, and um, she was like, "Will you come out and do?" It? We we're just talking. She was like, "You know, will you come out and do style?" She's like, "I have friends who come out and do it. If you want to come and do it." And I was like, "Yes," because I love that song. And she's like, "Do you know it?" I was like, uh, oh, "Yes." Yeah. I was like, "Yes." That's probably I my know all the words. One. That's oh, probably yeah. my favorite one of all of. It's hers. so good. I love. Yes. It. Want to head to Hard Rock Hotel, Daytona Beach, thanks to Visit Florida? Enter our watch and win game now. Just text ATLANTIC to 31996 by midnight central on Sunday to enter. Hard Rock Hotel, Daytona Beach, good vibes only at the area's newest luxury resort. Kid Nation will be right back. Welcome back to Kid Nation TV. So I got this date with this girl that has been a friend of mine for a long time. But I asked her on this date, and I, she said yes. But I don't know if she said yes, like, that's my buddy, let me go and hang out with him, or... You wanna get out of the friend zone. I, I don't know if I am in the friend zone, but I don't wanna ask him if I'm in the friend zone, because we've been friends for a long time. You never hooked up? I think we did years ago. This is a great start. 
long, long, long Full time. of pleasure. Long time. Oh, it was, <laughs> but it was a uh, long time I ago. I bet she'd say the same thing. Yes, but it was a long time ago. So, uh, well, but, this is easy. You treat it like a date. You treat it like what you want it to be. So if, you, if, it's, a, if it's friend zone, mm -hmm. you meet at the bar, you meet with a group of friends, you hang out, mm -hmm. you don't treat her like it's a date. But if it's a date, you go pick her up, you text her pre-date and say, I'm really looking forward to our date on Friday. Then that's the first you tell her it's a date. Okay. Then you go pick her up. Okay. You open the door for her. Mm -hmm. You do some chivalrous things. Mm -hmm. You buy her a drink. Yeah. Touch her, which is no problem for you. You touch everyone. Yeah. And then it's a date. I've gone from dating guy friends or like platonic friends to that. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's kind of weird, but that's how you cross the line. You treat it like a date. They've asked me, they've told me they're looking forward to, okay. to our date. Okay. Use date terminology. So a lot of touching on the leg. Like, yeah. you know, send leg the table, touching. like leg touch. I like leg Unless touch. Unless she pulls away from it, then you know. Yeah, then, then grab it. Then you, yeah. <laughs> Dinner, we're gonna meet at a bar with friends. No, you're not gonna meet at a bar. You're gonna pick her up and you're gonna take her to the bar as your date. Okay. And what? then we're going to the bar. What? We're going to the bar, yes. And then we're going to dinner at Fancy Steakhouse. Then we're going to at least sing karaoke. I will. She may She's sing. gonna watch you perform. Probably. What a dream. Yeah. And I'm then, so turned on just mm, thinking about your date. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds like a good date to me. Stay tuned.